So I have to tell you something. No, Dia, you tell. No, you tell. Okay, I'll tell you. So Dia just told me um, that her very first assignment, one of her earliest assignments when she was 17 years old, was for De Beers. <laughs> so there wow. you go. Wow. Yeah. Like that was like five years ago, right? <laughs> Six. <laughs> I love you, Gaurav. <laughs> We're old friends. I, I mean, while doing social good, uh, Dia, more than Dia, actually, Dia's cook has done a lot of social good for me as well. We've been neighbors for a long time, and when I was young and kitchenless in Mumbai, her cook used to make lovely dosas for us. So I think this started a long time ago. I think that was your first emotion of seeing social good happening. That, that was my first experience in social good. And from there on, you decided to save tigers and, of course, do a lot more things. <laughs> yes. But you, of course, are, are an avid supporter, an ardent supporter of the efforts of the Sudesh Foundation. So tell us about how you've seen Ronnie and Zarina sort of passionately get involved in this over the last few years. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Swades, for yet again allowing me to come here and uh, cheer for you because uh, I feel a great sense of pride every time I get the opportunity to. Um, you know, uh, growing up, there's always a sense of um, participation, one would like to feel, I mean, your school encourages you and then your college does, at home I was encouraged and I always felt a great sense of uh, happiness every time I came back after doing something that I knew was making a difference in somebody's life. And um, I would often wonder, when does that stop? And, uh, and then you grow older and you realize uh, it stops when you become busy with yourself and uh, expanding your own life ambitions and going on to doing the very many things that you want to do, the goals you want to achieve. And somewhere along that process of I, uh, that participation and that, that fantastic feeling that one gets in, in participating with more people than just yourself uh, starts disappearing. And it's, it's very interesting how despite great successes, there is a kind of an emptiness that, that looms. It just kind of takes over. And I think what Ronnie and Zarina are examples of are individuals who grew um, as individuals first and then as an organization, but they never, sent, they never lost sight of that very important aspect of being. Uh, and being contented individuals, you know, and, and remembering that the only way they can be truly happy is if they're making a difference. Uh, and I know that that has more to do with Zarina than it does with <laughs> Ronnie. No, 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 no. Oops. <laughs> no. Bec okay, she, she will, of course. Uh, you're all heart, Zarina. And I know that without him, your heart would not beat. But, uh, and you agree with me, right, Ronnie? Yeah. So. Anyway, let's go back to the story. <laughs> and uh, when they first called me and told me about what they were doing with Swades, I was just blown away. I was uh, so amazed at uh, their intention. And uh, I also knew somewhere within my heart that it was an intention that they would make possible. Uh, because they just are those kind of people. They make everything that they set out to do happen. And uh, it's been a remarkable uh, three, three and a half years of uh, watching them grow from strength to strength, making great strides, making such a huge social impact. And uh, I work a lot with corporates. I, I'm on, a board, on the board of some organizations and, and, and uh, I know how difficult it is for NGOs in the country to uh, convince corporations to invest in them. Uh, and, and a lot of corporates have agendas. So a lot of the, the, the CSR donations that are made or the money spent through CSR is always, uh, you know, everybody has like their own thing. We will do health and we will do education or we will do X, Y, Z. But nobody really says, I'm going to support somebody who's doing everything. So I know what a big challenge it must be for them to convince people to say, hey, you know what, I'm going to back an effort that wants to take care of everything. And um, 
but there has been a great growth in attitudes of people, wonderful, wonderful changes. I think when CSR was first introduced, it was done sometimes grudgingly and sometimes because, you know, people were getting a tax benefit. But it's amazing to see how wonderfully corporations have started reveling in the good work that they're doing. They're taking a great sense of pride in their participation. They're really, really proud about their accomplishments because, you know, when you reach out and you make a difference and you start seeing results, it really puts a sense of uh, goodness in you. And, and I think it's also transforming the way companies operate in India and the way people, individuals, uh, are, are even approaching their own lives. So it's wonderful times in India. There's a lot of work to be done and I'm just so happy I'm sitting in a room full of people who are doing that work. And uh, thank you, uh, Zarina and Ronnie, for inspiring change because, you know, it's a wonderful thing to hear great stories, but it's another thing to see people in action, see people doing the work. And um, I think the only legacy that all of us are always looking for is a great story, yeah. right, to leave behind. And I think that those stories are changing every day. They're becoming more about we and less about I. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, I mean, and you are leaving a million stories behind and a million stories every five years. And that's something I think that should inspire and motivate everybody. And Ronnie, like you rightfully said, it's not just about giving money. It's also about giving time. It's sweat equity yeah. and being there. Uh, yeah, Dia. One thing I quickly want to add, sure, sure. because they both spoke about their volunteer group. And, and that's something that I find is so remarkable. Because there are people from cities, urban centers, and of course, rural centers, who, have, who are part of Swadesh because they want to give, they want to share their skills. Hmm. You know, they're actually out there and on the ground doing work because they believe that sharing their skills is going to impact change. And that's a huge thing. Um, I mean, they could be busy in the city making money, doing other things, but they choose to be out there in rural India, creating sustainable solutions and sharing their skill sets, which is fantastic. Truly collaborative at every level. Well, let's... Gaurav, can I say one thing? Yeah, sure, of course. I want to really point out and commend one gentleman who's in this room. I just recently met your brother, sir. I, don't, I haven't met you. Mahesh Bansali ji. I don't know where you're sitting. But I met your brother, Ashok, just two weeks ago. And the work you do, sir, I mean, you deserve every success. And we were so impressed. It is truly, truly magnificent your whole family really wish you we were really blown away yeah.